is restaurant food really that bad for you? And uh, in most cases, it kind of is. But since we're talking about restaurants, I did want to mention, guys, we just finished up Best Burger Reviews, which is my burger review channel here on YouTube. Posted the finale yesterday. So if you want to see over 200 episodes of me uh, complaining about how sick I am, making really dumb jokes, basically losing my mind, be sure to check out Best Burger Reviews. If not, maybe just take a look at the finale. You get to see another side of me. So there are five pretty big reasons that we've broken this down into. The first one is that the food isn't organic. And simply by going organic, not only do you remove the agrochemicals, the pesticides, the herbicides, the fungicides, the glyphosate, all of these poisons being sprayed on our food, overall, it's usually a much higher quality product. And yeah, there's some nuances like the egg should also be corn and soy free, the dairy grass fed, but the plant foods like the grains, the fruits and the veggies, organic is usually as high as you're gonna get. Yeah, there's still omega-6 concerns and things like pork and chicken, but when you go to really high-end resorts, certain restaurants, they will be using organic produce, but because of how expensive everything is now, it's kind of hard to find. If you do have the luxury of discovering some type of organic product that's for sale and it's not going to completely break your bank, yeah, you're going to have to pay three, four, five, six dollars just for a loaf of bread. It's worth it. It's, it's something that you know is safe to eat and is good for you. Number two, which is really the reason that people are so sick nowadays with all the degenerative diseases, is how many vegetable seed oils are used in virtually every restaurant dish. Yes, deep frying is the worst culprit, whether it's French fries or battered foods that are soaking up all of this oil, this high omega-6 oxidized crap, which when you consume, it's what your cells are now composed of, and the body doesn't recognize this linoleic acid, that it thinks it's a toxin, so you have all of this massive inflammation throughout your body. And unfortunately, a lot of restaurants will use this in almost every dish as their vegetable seed oil. So you might think you're getting some reasonably healthy pasta dish or a salad or something that's supposed to be good for you in a restaurant, but it's doused in vegetable seed oil and it's as bad as you can get. This is inarguably the worst food you can put in your body. There's nothing worse than it. It's basically a chemical that you're poisoning yourself with and avoiding fried foods might be okay to some degree, but it's usually not good enough. You gotta be careful, especially if you're going to a cheaper, lower end restaurant. Number three is cleaning chemicals, which people don't really think of, but uh, if you ever work in a restaurant, you'll know how much sanitizing stuff is involved in cleaning everything, whether it's the glassware in the bar, degreaser, dish soap, chlorine, every single surface in that restaurant used to make your food, your drink is served in, your dinner plates, your forks and knives, is covered in like chemical residue from it being sanitized and, and super safe. So, I mean, maybe there's some like European restaurants out there in different countries where they're not as crazy about this, but in America, for the most part, to my knowledge, that's a, pre that's a pretty big deal. Even if you're going to like the highest quality organic restaurant or drinking this biodynamic wine, you know, hey, I mean, in those restaurants, yeah, they wipe the wine glasses out with like cloth and stuff, but in most cases, it's just more chemicals that you're consuming. Number four is cheap bulk foods, which really just means lower quality and more of these things. So they're definitely not organic. You know, vegetable seed oils usually comprise a lot of these cheap bulk foods, and there's more chemicals in them. So when you're buying the lowest quality, stale, possibly has mold and mycotoxins in them. You have to be mindful that when you're going to this restaurant, it's not like the mid-grade peanuts. It's usually the lowest, lowest, lowest quality possible that they can put into a dish, at least in many places in America. So for number five, we're talking about palatability increased by chemicals. So MSG, which a lot of you guys are familiar with, I think it's monosodium glutamate. It is a chemical. It does affect the brain chemistry negatively, but Really, you know, it's increasing the amount of crap you're eating. So a tiny pinch of MSG on its own 
might not be the end of the world, but then if you eat three times as much of the food, that's where the issue comes in because you just had three times as much agrochemical filled vegetable seed oil, cleaning chemical crap. And then the salt and sugar that most restaurants use is like the really refined stuff, bleached, full of solvents and really bad stuff. And then they just put a ton and ton and ton of butter in it. So a grain fed butter might not be the worst thing, it's not the end of the world, but that combined with all this other stuff, increasing the palatability, you're eating so much of it, it's really, really bad. And uh, there are definitely some things that you can do to alleviate this when you go out to eat in these restaurants. So one is spend more, because generally when you go to more expensive restaurants, the food is much higher quality. That's not always 100% certain, but you know, you do want to go to a steakhouse, that's another good thing, even though steakhouse is usually expensive. Sticking to beef, as opposed to any other animal proteins, is definitely the lesser of the evils. There are still problems with conventional grain-fed beef, but it's probably the least worst animal protein. You definitely want to avoid fats in the context of you know, low quality fat being the worst macronutrient to consume. You know, if you're eating low quality protein and low quality carbohydrates, yes, those are pretty bad too, but not nearly as horrible as vegetable seed oils and some of these fatty dressings that are just bombarded with these low quality oxidized fats. You also wanna eat before, so you know, you're not like stuffing yourself and overeating. And that applies to two things. One, saving money at the expense of places. And two, you know, not stuffing yourself at a fast food restaurant. So definitely eat a high quality meal before just to avoid the damage. And it sounds kind of weird, but filling up on bread might not be a bad idea because bread compared to all the other food in the restaurant is in most cases the least inflammatory thing. Yes, you know, GMO wheat is pretty bad for you, but not as bad as the other stuff on the restaurant menu. And a few things I was doing uh, when going to all these burger restaurants as like a protocol to uh, reduce the damage was taking mastic gum with it. Uh, we have it available on organsupplements.com. It's like a, a tree resin. You grind it up into a powder and it keeps food moving through your digestive system. So all of that like burger, fries and crap isn't just sitting there getting absorbed. Uh, same with charcoal. All that stuff gets absorbed into the charcoal, activated charcoal, to kind of reduce the toxin absorption. And then you can also use probiotics like water kefir to help digest and break down some of that restaurant food to remove the stress of your body. And then being hydrated, very, very important. A lot of restaurants will have a bottled water you can buy, something like Pellegrino. So you really wanna just stay super, super hydrated so that you know, things are moving as smoothly as possible through your digestive system. And then you want to eat good quality food as soon as possible after the restaurant meal, whether that's later when you get home at night or possibly the next day, just, you know, back on the high quality organic diet, maybe just like a big plate of organic brown rice, some steak, and just push all that crappy food out. So uh, hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what you need to avoid in restaurants. And look, there's a lot of good places out there. There's a lot of good dishes that you can have, but it gets very, very, very subjective. And it's difficult unless you have a good understanding of health and nutrition to know what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. Because even something that seems healthy, like sushi, it could be full of pollutants and toxins from the ocean. So you gotta be really, really careful. So you guys can go to frank if you would like to check out all of my businesses. We have the high quality grass fed meats on Frankie's Free Range Meat Guys, Water Kefir and all other sorts of interesting products on Frankie's Free Range Foods. We have the Masticum and some other stuff that will help you deal with the detoxing on organ supplements. And of course we have Wi-Fi shielding. I'm always wearing the protective clothing as well as Frankie's Naturals. You guys can also check out Best Burger Reviews that we mentioned earlier. Just type it in the search bar here on YouTube. But outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, and I'll see you guys for the next video.